Hi, my name is Alex with Ape Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be covering the who, what, when, where, why of backlog grooming, also known as refinement. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything that I cover in the video, let me know in the comment section below. All right, so let's talk about the what. So what is backlog grooming or refinement? So simply put, not every issue in Jira is created equal. Some have greater value than others, and some issues, some items, stories, right, features, they need to be done sooner rather than later. And not all work actually provides value. Some work is actually not valuable, and we wanna rank, we wanna be able to categorize and order the execution order of all the work that your developer teams are going to be working on. So in order to achieve that, we want to practice a very common practice in Agile, which is that backlog grooming or refinement. And so that's very in a nutshell exactly what grooming is. So when should you groom your backlog? I'll start by telling you when you should not groom your backlog. You should not be grooming your backlog during your sprint planning activity. That is not the appropriate time. So my best practice is to actually start grooming your backlog maybe two or three days before you're gonna start the next sprint. Anything farther left, anything farther like more before, it adds extra volatility, it adds extra variables that may alter your decision. So the closer you can get to the sprint planning session, the less volatile, the less changes from the business that you're going to get so i recommend you try to get as close as possible to the sprint planning session with that said you don't want to be too close either because you do want to give your teams a couple of days and maybe at least a day to kind of go and decompose your new backlog so that when you do go into your sprint planning session you have the stories you have the tasks that the dev teams are going to be working on and those are gonna be based off the guidance from the groomed or refined backlog of features that you and your product owner have already created. And with that said, who should be grooming the backlog? Is it the developers? Is it the stakeholders? It should primarily be your product owner because your product owner is that voice of that customer. But as a scrum master, you should probably be very involved as well because product owners don't typically spend too much time in Jira. So unless you have a really strong product owner that can actually go and do all the work in Jira, this is probably gonna be a collaborative effort between the product owner and a couple of other key stakeholders. Throughout my career, I've seen my product owner, my scrum master, and a couple of engineering managers participate in the grooming and refinement and prioritization slash ranking of the backlog. So that is usually how I've seen it done but your mileage is gonna vary and every team is a little bit different. So that's the what, that's the when, and that's the who. Let's talk about the where. And so to do that, I'm actually gonna jump into Jira and I'm gonna show you where you do this. Okay, so within Jira, you are gonna be in a very specific area. Thankfully, Atlassian has made this very simple for us. We are going to be in the backlog, okay? The backlog, is and you're gonna have a sprint maybe up at the top but you want to come down to where you actually have your backlog in this backlog section right where it says backlog this is where the magic happens this is where you want to start ranking and grooming your backlog so this is where you if you need to add more stories because you just don't have enough stories that are captured to do the work effectively this is where you're going to be able to quickly come in and create an issue and quickly ad hoc be able to add additional details or additional work that might have just been missed in prior sessions. So you can do that here. You can also reorder these. You can just drag and drop and you'll notice this another demo can be moved to the top. It can be moved to the bottom. It can be moved all around. If you ever leave this page, Atlassian and Jira is actually going to remember this order and it won't forget it. And the other thing you can do is you can right click and you can send to the top of the backlog or you can move it to the bottom of the backlog. So this is just a very quick and easy way of moving things up and down because keep in mind, I only have 11 issues. You might have 100, 200, 500, right? And so it's gonna take you a while to scroll if you don't do the right click strategy. The other thing 
is if your backlog is not ranking, if your backlog is not letting you move these issues, you do want to come over to board settings here in the top right corner, click on board settings, go to your general and ensure that it says using rank. If you are not, if this says does not say using rank, you're going to want to alter your filter query by clicking on this link over here. And then you're going to want to make sure that you have your order by rank. Uh, ascending or descending doesn't matter too much, but you do want to have order by rank so that Jira can then help you remember your rank. So that actually covered the where and the how to do it. So I got, you got a two for one special here. And so hopefully this video kind of helps you explain how you actually do it in Jira. But one thing that I want you to keep in mind is that this activity is an ongoing activity. You should be doing this sprint to sprint. Um, you don't have to do it every single day, but you do need to do this at least, I do two to three days before the start of the sprint, just so that you have the newest items. And you want to be, this is a very strategic collaboration with your product owners and with other key stakeholders that kind of have an influence into the direction of where you're going to go as an organization. You don't want to wait until you get to the sprint planning meeting to then strategize and figure out, okay, what should we be working on? You want to kind of figure that stuff out beforehand and kind of get deal with the nuances of figuring that strategy out before you present the plan to the rest of the developers. So anyways, I hope this video helped you out. Please let me know if you got value out of it by smashing that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.